Welcome back. We know a lot of you will be in the kitchen this weekend, maybe testing out new cookies for Santa. So if you need a new recipe to impress the jolly old elf and the rest of your family, we have a winner with a peppermint twist joining us with some holiday inspiration, local baker Jackie Tessing from Sweet Girl Treats MN. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank thanks you for having me back. back. Yeah, thanks for being here. Yeah. Um, this is exciting. There are many treats in front of us mm -hmm. here. But yes. we're going to start with something that we've been showing everybody picture-wise that looks really yummy. Mm -hmm. It's the triple chocolate peppermint mm -hmm. cookie filled with something special too. Yes, okay, let's with talk a special about filling. It. So yes, um, these cookies are made up of just a regular chocolate cookie. Um, what makes them special is I use two types of chocolate in the cookie itself, um, mm -hmm. a cocoa powder and then a melted chocolate. Um, and then we add peppermint to the cookie in Andy's mint form, what other or any other chocolate peppermint that you can mm -hmm. find. Um, chop it up, put it into the dough. So that's our chocolate cookie, and it tastes like a brownie. It's a brownie and cookie wow. form. It's very good. So to make these cookies, once you have the batter made, you're going to grab a little bit of it because you're going to add the special filling, and it's actually really easy to do. It looks fancy, but it's really easy. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm just going to grab the dough and kind of flatten it out in my hand. Mm -hmm. And then I have this peppermint um, frosting, which I actually stuck in the fridge. Since it's a buttercream, it'll harden. The butter mm, will harden okay. in the fridge, and that's a lot easier to put the filling in. So then I just take a little spoonful, a little dollop of frosting, like one to two teaspoonful. Okay, so, but, it so it's buttercream. What, what's in a buttercream yep. basic? So it's just Wait. powdered sugar and butter. Okay. And um, I add a peppermint extract to mm -hmm. get the peppermint in the filling. So then as you can see, I just kind of rolled it into it, and then mm -hmm. you have your perfect little dough ball. And so then once you put these into the oven, they're going to come out looking like this. Oh. And I'm always all about making the cookies look a little bit prettier. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> some of my cookie hacks is um, for any time I bake cookies, I have a round cookie cutter that I use. And the second they come out of the oven, it's not going to do the full effect now since they're not warm. But what you're going to yeah. do is you're going to swirl them like this. Oh, wow. And then you're going to get perfectly round cookies. OK, that, that makes like sense. That. Yep. And then I also always top them. You know, even if you make chocolate chip cookies, whatever you make, I always top them with extra topping so that they look pretty. You can see what they look like out of the oven mm -hmm. and then what they look like after I... That's festive. Them. Yes. Totally. So yeah. then, once they bake, you're going to see... Nice. Right there in the middle. Filling. The filling. Yeah. So you get to see the peppermint filling in there. Wonderful. They okay. taste like a peppermint I'm patty assuming these also. Form. Peppermint patty cookie and cookie there. form. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here yeah. we go. Yep. Beautiful. Very good. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. It's going to be your taste tester. Mm -hmm. No problem. Super mm -hmm. simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very and good, chewy, perfect holiday cookie. chocolatey, pepperminty, all yes. the good stuff. Yep, very nice. Okay, yeah. so along with this, because uh, we know these look delicious and they they look you know hard to make, but you show how easy they yep. are. Mm -hmm. You brought some other ideas for cookies that you could b bake this holiday season, yep. and we'll start with this holiday cookie first. Of course, you've got the sprinkles, the red and green sprinkles. But what kind of cookie is that? Yeah, so on my blog, I have a good amount of other holiday recipes that you can make. These first ones right here are a peanut butter cookie. But then they also have a surprise filling. It's the same way that you put a filling in like I just showed. They mm -hmm. have a chocolate ganache filling, yeah. a creamy chocolate filling. So if you've ever had those peanut butter blossoms, those are really popular this Love time those. of year. This is basically like a peanut butter blossom. <laughs> but Go ahead, John. Not good. Chocolate's well, on the inside. Me, you yeah. know? So there's the surprise so filling. So if you love peanut butter cookies and hello chocolate, I mean, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong, right? right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice. And unique and different and mm -hmm. Christmassy yes, still. Yes, especially right. the, when you tell people that there's a surprise filling, too. Mm -hmm. That kind of <laughs> yeah. know, really That's amps fun. it up. Yeah. Right. I, and we, you have cheesecake. And what kind of cheesecake do you have over there? So these are a cheesecake bar, and it's a gingerbread cheesecake with a cranberry swirl. So they have a soft gingerbread cookie crust and a reduced cranberry swirl. Also very simple. Um, you can find the recipe on my blog where I'll walk you through it. I guess I have to try this, well, right? Yeah, gotta I mean, go three for you three. Gotta go three out of three. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Are you good. okay with this? I'm totally okay. fine. Okay. Thank I'll you. Have some later. <laughs> some later. <laughs> I'm not going to let this go. This is delicious. I was kind of curious as how much gingerbread taste would be in there compared mm -hmm. to cheesecake. Yep. Perfect balance. Yeah. Yeah. Very and nice. And it's a Thank soft you. cookie crust, so mm -hmm. it's very good as well. Yeah. Something different because we know the, the traditional cookies, but these kind of mix it up. Yeah, and exactly. You can mix it up, add something different to your traditional cookie platter, and we Plus, we have a lot of Christmas candy around, a lot of chocolates. Right. A good way to use that up, too. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah, Love top it. them with your cookies. All right, Jackie. Yeah. Thanks yeah. so much for joining us. Thank you so much. They're delicious, Don tells us. I'll find out in a minute. Oh, yeah. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> for more of Jackie's recipes, check out her Instagram at sweetgirltreatsmn.